All right. Good evening, Alyssa. How are you? I'm good. And yourself? I am doing good. I'm really excited to chat with you today. So you are moving to the Orlando area from New York, and you are a referral from one of our internal Ronstadt employees. So we are really excited to help you find your next opportunity. So Alessa, I'm going to let you take the stage. What were you doing in your most recent position? So at my most recent position with Westchester Medical, um, I was, I've worked in a lot of different areas. Primarily right now, I am working in the lab. So I'm registering patients. We see roughly maybe like 100 patients a day, it looks like. The lab is a very busy department. Um, okay. and we're just registering them. We're getting their demographic information, uh, insurance, um, and we're making sure that all of that is in so that they can be billed out properly, so that the accounts can be created for uh, the lab technician to do what they need to do. Okay. Um, I have worked in a bunch of different areas, however, like I've worked in non-invasive imaging, doing registrations, um, advanced imaging. I've worked a little bit in the ED. Okay. Uh, now, is this all at Westchester Medical Center? All with Westchester. So Beautiful. a lot of uh, my job, since registration is kind of universal, I've been bounced around to different departments and therefore like I've seen their, they have a different workflow depending on um, what tests are getting done and like okay. what you need to register them for, what consents they need to get signed. I love it. And I love the volume. I'm You're probably like, okay, Sam, a hundred people a day, that's a ton. <laughs> but I like that. Like I'm thinking that you are a multitasker. You obviously are very organized. And you're probably very good with talking with all different types of people and being exposed to all those different departments. You probably can kind of get thrown anything thrown at you and you're going to know how to handle it. Right. Because um, whenever they would. Uh, so, for example, we at one point due to COVID, um, they opened up the Westchester County Center um, near us. Okay. And that was the new vaccine center. And over there we were seeing like close to a thousand patients a day. Wow. Um obviously it was not all me um there was a lot of people there but we were registering them for the vaccination so that had its own different workflow we were not in the hospital we were in the county center so i'm used to being kind of thrown into a different department and saying this is what you're doing now this is how to do it and go now you have management experience from some of your other positions. Did you supervise anyone at Westchester as well? Or was that in your other roles? Uh, that was in my other roles. However, a lot of the times because I picked up things so quickly, I would have management uh, throw people at me to train for okay. departments. So I have trained people before, but I was never given an official management title at Westchester. Understood. Okay. Now in your management role, so I see that you spent a couple of years as the manager at Joanne's Fabrics and as well as GameStop. In that role, were you in charge of scheduling, payroll, and if so, how many folks were you managing at both of those locations on average? So um, at both of those locations, I was not in charge of uh, scheduling or payroll. That was given to like the assistant managers and the store managers. Okay. However, I was in charge of opening and closing the store, um, you know, making sure that the employees were properly trained. So I was kind of the stepping stone before you start getting into payroll. But I had a lot of okay. experience leading other staff members. All right. Fantastic. And now if you weren't sitting here with me today and I was chatting with some of the folks that you supervise or even that you worked with at Westchester, how do you think they would describe your work ethic? Um, <laughs> I am very organized. Like I kind of want things done a certain way. Um, but I am willing to help anybody with anything. Like a lot of the times I'm the one being asked 50 different questions about different things. Um, I think that I would hopefully think that they would describe me as like efficient, but super helpful. Okay. I like it. Now, real quickly, I see here that you also have exposure to the Microsoft Office suite, that you're good with Excel, Word, PowerPoint. What EMR softwares were you using at Westchester? So at Westchester, we were using a program called Cerner. 
Okay. Um, that is our registration program that we were using. Um, and that was brand new. We actually switched programs um, in between. Like when I had first started, we were using an entirely different program. Okay. Uh, basically looked like a computer from the 80s. Okay. Um, like a DOS we had to know all of the different insurance codes and everything. So I kind of just memorized them so that when we switched to Cerner, that made everything a lot easier. I, like it. I just already knew the codes to put in. Um, but that being said, we also, in addition to the registration program, we had a different check-in program to check in the patients. Um, we have different, uh, scheduling apps that we would use. Um, so at one point I was working in the, uh, COVID testing and we had to schedule appointments for those people. Um, those were for employees. Great. And my last question, this is always my favorite one. What is the most important thing to you about the next company that you work for at this point in your career? I think the most important thing for the next company that I work at is just to kind of, I guess it would be, was it a good one? I want to say that they're willing to work collaboratively like we can come to the best what is the word i'm trying to use here oh my god i'm blanking right now but um i i really like employers that like take you know feedback from their employees as well as you know me getting feedback is great and I can adjust my work style accordingly. But if I have a solution that maybe they didn't think of, I would hope that they would take that into account as well. Okay. All right. Fantastic. Alyssa, I'm going to go ahead and stop the recording and chat with you a little bit more if that sounds good. Sounds good.